Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson of the Arabic language. So for today we have two letters. The first is Saad. This is the name of the letter. So the letter's name is Saad. The pronunciation is Sa. It's like an S that, but it's totally um, stronger stronger so I think well let's see if I say sa 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 I hope you notice the difference um, now it might be a bit hard but um, keep practicing and trying and I think you'll get it right so um, let's see how we pronounce this with alamat um, al so we we have the letter and we say sa su si sa su si so um, before I move on um, to how you rewrite that in the word I'm going to show you the next letter because they're they're the same in shape you just add the dot so the next letter is Dad the name is Dad the thing is that this is the letter that is unique in Arabic our language is called the language of the Dad Lugat al-Dad so you cannot find this letter any in any other language so I know everyone will have um, a hard time pronouncing this anyway so the letter is B Dad and the pronunciation is D it's like a da like a da but a very deep so D yeah anyway so how do we say that it's Da, do, di. Da, do, di. Oops. Di. So yeah, I know it's hard. Anyway, let's move on to how we pronounce. Uh, how do how we write that? Um, in word. So. Both of uh, these letters are written the same way. The only difference is you have a dot above one of them. So let's start with a sod. So the way you, you write it is you start from below the line, you go, you curve, you have a tooth and an extension here. That's how you write it in the beginning of the word. In the middle of the word, you have something connected from the front. You have something connected from the front then you do the same a curve a tooth and then an extension to the back so this is in the middle of the word in the end of the word it's like uh, every um, like most of the letters that you've seen it's just you have something connected from the front and then you write the normal letter as in the alphabet so this is sod. If I want to transfer it into a b, I will have the dot. You see? B. Now one thing to notice here is the way it's written, it's similar to this, right? So what's the difference? The difference is the tooth here. There is no tooth here and there's a tooth there. So this is just to distinguish because when someone writes fast, he might write the kh that we were learned, or ha or jim, like this. And you will be confused, is that a, a sa or a ha? Well, you have to look if there is a tooth with no dots around it, which indicates that this is a sa. Anyway, um, I'll do... Uh, I'll pronounce them again one more time before I 
end up this uh, lesson. Um, so it's sa. Okay, so it's sa, su, si, sa, sa. It's not sa, it's sa. Anyway, and it's da. Da, do, li. Da, do, li. Well, I don't know how to explain it more than that, but um, I promise you that when we finish um, the lessons of, for the alphabet, I'll go into special pronunciation lessons where I'll. Um, show the difference between similarly sound I mean letters that have the same sound basically or similar sounds I mean anyway um, that's it for today or for this lesson at least I hope you enjoyed it and uh, goodbye <laughs>